Hi guys, hello everyone. It's Mark here. Today I'm doing a little video on this Triumph Street Cup. It's been delivered to me today by Triumph. They're lending it to me for the weekend. I'm going to be taking it up to the kickback show in Warwickshire tomorrow, which um, I'm excited about. It should be a good show. Um, but I haven't ridden it yet. It's been delivered. Um, and yeah, I haven't ridden it. So we're going to go out for a little ride and see what it's like. Feels like quite a sort of a com compact bike, but then I have just come off of the uh, Tracer, which is obviously quite a large bike in comparison. You know, physical size of the Tracer is significantly uh, larger than this. This obviously is sort of a cafe racer kind of classic styled bike. So there we go. The engine sounds lovely. I love the sound of these. This engine, Triumph have done really, really well with this engine. It's a beautiful thing. This engine's uh, pretty smooth, actually. Yeah, nice and smooth. It's smoother than the Thruxton R, which is obviously the 1200 uh, engine. It is smoother than that, but um, yeah, it's nice. Sounds good as well. It's not uh, not mega loud, which is fine. It's got a nice tone to it. Obviously everything on this bike is stock, stock exhausts, everything. So yeah, 53 horsepower, not a mega powerful machine, but parallel twin, so plenty of torque should be good fun. Very light clutch. Very light clutch. Seems to handle nice, easy enough to uh, lean into the bends. And um, the riding position is uh, fairly leaned forward, nothing uh, crazy of course, it's not a sports bike, just slightly leaned forward but there's there's no weight really going through my wrists so I'm quite um, comfortable. And uh, my feet are reasonably high but um, It's actually you know, perfectly comfortable, nice seat. This, is, this road is normally very, very, very bumpy. The suspension is doing a uh, good job. I get the impression I could ride this all day and my buttocks would be fine, no complaints from them. Let's see how this hands, this sort of S-bend hands, handles I should say. Yeah, not bad at all. You know, in many ways this is similar to the, the Thruxton. It's the same dials, I'm sure they're the same dials. 
very uh, similar styling. Handles very uh, similarly as well. Suspension's a bit softer. Well, that was the Thruxton R that I had before, so it had the Olins and the big showers on the front, whereas this hasn't. Um, yeah, and the brakes seem adequate enough. They're not Brembo's, they're Nissins, but uh, they seem to be absolutely fine. Let's see what this has got. Not bad. We um, hit the limiter there, I think, at about six and a half thousand revs in the second. Is fill up with petrol as well, so I don't need to worry about doing that on the way to the show tomorrow because I'm riding this as I said to uh, the kickback show. We'll be having it at the Bikers Hub stand. So, what we will do is get some food for me for tomorrow, some supplies to take and then a bit of petrol then I shall enjoy another ride back so first impressions of this bike compact not massively powerful but enough poke to have a bit of fun with thanks to the parallel twin it is a really really nice engine um, yeah comfortable a great seat a decent riding position adequate brakes So that's it so far. Right, I'm going to go in, grab me supplies, grab some fuel, and then I'll be back with you. Right. Food check, fuel check. Time to go home and prepare for the day tomorrow. Yeah, this bike's got enough there. Uh, power to have a bit of fun with. It is uh, essentially a really good option, as I said at the start, if you like this sort of classic or cafe racer style and you're on an A2 licence, you can get a restrictor kit on this. Um, standard it's 53 horsepower, um, but yeah it is, it's really torquey so What I'll do, I will see if I can park up somewhere and give you a bit of a, an up close look at the detail because Triumph do put a lot of effort and care into the sort of the finishing touches. Yeah, it's just little things like these finishing touches. I mean, look at this Triumph logo there on the on the dials is very nice, and the brushed aluminium that they've used is lovely, really good quality. They put their logo in here. Uh, this filler cap, sort of a classic style filler cap, doesn't lock or anything, just simply unscrews, which is lovely. And you've got um, this Bonneville 900 HT, I think that stands for high torque engine. And again, Triumph logo here. It's just really well done. There we go, that again there. The Triumph logo and the two-tone paint is lovely. The quality of the stitching in the seat. I just can't really describe the sort of the quality of the finishing touches that they've done on the workmanship on this bike. And um, I'm not just saying it because they've lent me a bike. It's you know, it is the truth. I'm sure if you speak to any other Triumph owner or rider out there, or if you come and look at it yourself, you would agree it's been done very, very well. Summary then, first impression of this bike, 
very very nice um, lovely looking machine the dials straight from the Thruxton R or the Thruxton which is very good because they are a good set of dials um, it's comfortable not massively powerful 50 horsepower but I think it's aimed at that sort of that market where it can be restricted for A2 licensed riders as well so uh, it's definitely one to look at if you um, are on an A2 license and like this style of bike you can get that restricted no problem plenty of torque and you can still have a bit of fun on this bike the torque is there the power is there once you get going um, and it handles well turns into the bends nicely so should be a good ride up to uh, the kickback show so um, yeah stay tuned to bikes hub for more videos and thank you for watching guys um, check out the bikes hub website for a write up on this bike I will be doing a full written review on it uh, after the weekend once I've ridden it a bit more so stay tuned for that and uh, see you next time